Updates to the riverfront in Clarksville, Indiana are taking a toll on one small business whose front driveway has become a construction zone. Wave News reporter Alina Noakes takes a look at the impacts the business is seeing just a few months into a nearly year long project. Widow's Wall Creamery serves up sweet treats year round, but as the owners prepare to enter her peak sales season, she's having to get past more than a few roadblocks. The ice cream is the best in town, so that's why we come down. For loyal customers like Gene Brown and his wife, popping over to Widow's Wall Creamery on the Indiana Riverfront is just routine, something they've done for as long as the shop's been open. But Gene's noticed things are not as they used to be. Sometimes we'll be only one car, and we'll be sitting there eating ice cream. There'll be no other cars. It's been bad. Chocolate's going pretty quick today. For creamery owner Jill Dodson, she sees more than just empty parking spaces. It's beautiful outside. It's a Saturday, and, and normally I would have a lot of people here. Now, I've had people here today, which is great, but I would have a line. That's because a literal barrier is blocking what would usually be a well-traveled road straight to her shop. The town of Clarksville began a $7 million construction project on Riverside Drive in late December 2023, set to include new sidewalks, bike paths, lighting, and other beautification efforts. People will come here and the, there's two barriers and they can go around the barriers and the first one kind of is a no-brainer that you can go around. The second one, you see the drop in the road and the gravel and all the construction equipment and you're kind of like, yeah, I don't want to go around that. And sometimes they'll turn around and, and you know, leave. While Dodson knows the updates will only improve the look of her own front yard, she's feeling the strain it's putting on her business. The town of Clarksville has tried to help Dodson out with a sign at the front of the barricaded entrance, but she's still seeing the impacts. There you go. Here's your number. We'll call out that next window as soon as it's ready. Thank Dodson you. usually serves 10,000 customers a month wanting a post in her sweet treat. That number has been cut in half. She's also reduced her business hours, closing from Tuesday to Thursday every week. With the upcoming summer months, she's worried those impacts will only worsen. My overhead's pretty, pretty steep, so, you know, I'm getting by so far. So far, so good. I'm getting by. I just need more people. Come see me. So on a day like today, it's just it's quiet. It's just fun. It's, you know, great view, and the park's right there across the street. Um, it's just a great atmosphere. We've reached out to the city of Clarksville for further comment on this story, but haven't heard back yet. Alina Noakes, Wave News.